In this video, we're going to tie a fly called the Green Butt Skunk. We're going to start off with a Tiemco 799 Salmon Steelhead Hook and some 140 Denier Danville's Thread. We're just going to take our thread all the way back there to the to where the bend ends there, or starts. And we're going to take a little bit of red hackle fibers from either a schlappen feather or just a regular red strong hackle feather. And we're going to make our tail so that it's about one third to one half the length of the shank of the hook. And you can trim those butt ends out of there. Now we're going to take a little strip of medium chartreuse green chenille. I'm just going to pluck out some of the fibers kind of exposing that thread core. And I'm going to tie that in by the thread core right at the butt there. We're going to take this chenille and I'm going to make one full full turn all the way around the shank of the hook. Careful not to overdo it. You could do up to two turns, but I would not do any more than that. Now we're going to tie in our ribbing. This is just some uni French tinsel in medium silver. Just tie that in along the side of the shank of the hook. Now we're ready for the rest of the body, which is just going to be medium black chenille. And I like to do the same thing where I peel off some of the fibers exposing that thread core. Just gives me a little something to wrap into without adding too much bulk. Then we're going to take our thread forward here. I'm going to take it all the way forward to about a hook eye to a hook eye and a half length away from the eye of the front of the hook there. We're just going to take this black chenille and we're just going to build up a nice even body. I'm going to stop. I'm going to get to my thread, capture it, lay down some nice tight wraps to secure it. Then we can trim it out of there. Then I'm going to take that uni French tinsel and I'm just going to wrap it forward. First wrap is kind of the hardest one. You really have to get a good angle on it to get it started. I want to get these nice even spiraling wraps going forward. And we can trim out our tinsel. Now I'm going to tie in a black schlappen feather. I'm going to pull out a whole feather, but we're not going to really use the entire thing. I'm going to strip back most of the fibers here because you get some of these really long fibers towards the back end. I don't really want any of those. I'm more interested in just kind of the tip section of the feather. I'm 
those long fibers just kind of get in the way when you're tying it in. So I'm just kind of interested in that tip section there. I'm just going to peel back these fibers real carefully, just exposing the tip of the feather. I'm going to tie in the, that feather by the tip. I'm going to carefully pull all those fibers back as I wrap the feather. This can be tied sparser or heavier, kind of depending on your preference. I generally tie them a little sparser. So just when I think I have enough, I usually take it and just kind of back off a half a turn. And you can capture the feather. Trim out any excess. Now we're going to take the fibers and just kind of split them to the side right down the middle. Then I'm going to draw them back with my fingers, kind of down and to the sides. Then I'm going to wrap back up onto them. And that'll help keep all the fibers kind of down and to the sides. If you get any stray fibers, you can just pluck them out of there. Now, the next thing to do is to tighten the wing. For that, I'm going to use a little bit of white calf tail and I'm just going to pull out a fairly generous kind of clump to start then we're going to thin it and weed it down before we tie it in. I have a pretty generous clump here but I need to take out all those butt fibers that are really short So I pluck all those out, then I'm going to come up here towards the tip and I'm going to pluck out any of the longer, rougher fibers. Then I'll kind of do the same thing at the butt again. I'm just kind of weeding out any of the shorter, rough fibers and just kind of leaving some of those longer, straighter fibers I'm looking for. You can also use a hair stacker. This is fairly difficult stuff to stack. And then we'll end up with a little clump of mostly longer fibers that we're looking for. We're going to tie those in right on top of the shank of the hook. We want it to extend just past the green butt. So I just kind of roughly measure those out, lay on top of the shank, and bite down with a couple nice secure wraps of thread. And we can get in there very carefully and trim out those butt ends. Oops. Now we need to build a nice tapered head. Nice thing about this Danville's thread is it lays out nice and flat. So you can build 
that nice kind of taper on the head of the fly. You can use your whip finisher to kind of finish off the head a little more. Then you can take a little bit of gloss coat or some UV fly finish and just coat the, the head of the fly. If you get a few, I can see a couple wacky little fibers there, you can just isolate them and pluck those out of there. And that is the fly called the Green Butt Skunk.